Hi everyone, so today I wanted to do a review quickly on some new brushes. I've had these for a few months now. I got a few Dallium Tools. You may have heard of this brand through Instagram, that's certainly how I found out about them. And basically the company has really affordable brushes. They have uh, the yellow colored ones and then the black handles, the Maestro line is a little bit more expensive. I would assume it's because of maybe better quality on the bristles and the yellow ones are really affordable and they also have a bamboo line uh, synthetic brushes I believe I will leave the link down below I ordered these um, like I said several months ago when they had a sale uh, I think it was like 30% off something really good like that and a lot of people have been following them commenting on their photos lots of likes now I, if you you've been following me for some time, you probably already know that I do love buying makeup brushes. I buy makeup brush sets every couple months, I buy something new. I have a lot. It's embarrassing. I know. I have issues. I have problems. I know. I mean, who am I kidding to say that I don't love brushes? I have a ton of brushes that I don't even use, but I couldn't resist these brushes because of the really good reviews and what people were saying like feedback wise on their Instagram page. So I thought I'd give them a try. And I, they also have, if you are a makeup artist, they do have really cool brushes to do special effects. Um, I've seen pictures on Instagram where they're using like these weird shaped brushes to do like makeup for theater, makeup for movies and um, editorial things. So it's for everything. Even regular makeup like beauty stuff that I do here on my channel, you can get brushes from them. So. Enough blabbling, let's just go ahead and get into the brushes. Now, I have been on the quest to find the perfect contouring brush, and I wanted maybe something that was angled, maybe a little bit fluffy, you know. I'm just like rationalizing my mind, like, do I really need another one? Can I justify another purchase? I found a way to make it just right in my mind, to be like, okay, let me buy this. <laughs> uh, so I decided to try the 990. Now, if you've seen me use this in plenty of videos, this black handle uh, is different than the yellow ones because this is part of the Maestro line and I do really like this brush. I think it's a really good size. Honestly, it's a little bit larger than I prefer if you look at it in comparison to my face, but it's good to kind of wedge your contour right here on the hollows of the cheek. I've used this plenty of time to bronze. If you were in a pinch, you could probably use the tip of it to kind of buff on some blush and some highlight. If you maybe travel and you forgot your brushes, then you could use this for a couple of different things. The handle is way too long. I understand that it's more I would say I guess yes, it's kind of similar to a full size brush, if I'm comparing it's a little longer. I would have preferred a shorter handle. Now they do have one that I saw more recently on the website that's more of like the travel size. It's, I would assume the same width and shape with the bristles but then the handle shorter. I think I would have preferred that one. Uh, this one was a little bit pricey, I think normally it's like 23 24 for this one brush. A little expensive, I know, but with 30% off, I thought, why not? So, I like it. The only thing is it's a little too large. The handle's too big, but it is very soft and it does the job really well. The next one, the rest of them are going to be the yellow handles. Is the number 960. This, I believe, is the blush brush. And I thought, why not? It looked, when I googled image this number and this brush, it looked a little fluffier, more rounded. It's very sort of like flat. So, uh, no, I'm not really feeling this at all for blush, but I can use it to place my contour and kind of buff it out if I wanted to. I have used this to use um, with my highlighting products. I've, I've done that. I've also used it to kind of set under the eye. I think it's a good shape for that. But as far as blush, I would have preferred it to be a little bit more rounded. Think of something like, ooh, something round. You see how these, this brush here is much different and this one's more flat. I would have preferred something fluffier so I just felt like it just wasn't fluffy enough but I have tried it for blush and it's not bad I just have other brushes that I prefer that are much better um, the quality is it's nice it's soft it's not the softest brush I think real techniques is a little bit softer than this um, these elite brushes from morphe are much softer uh, again there are different style of uh, bristles so that's that's probably why but not bad. Okay, so the next one is the number 777. This is an eyeshadow brush. This one I've used before. I think it's really nice. It fits my eye shape really well. It's not overly big like some other brushes that I have. Um, I do find that it's, it's soft, but at times it feels slightly kind of scratchy. So I'm not really, not really impressed with that because of 
the hype on it, I thought, okay, these are going to be great. I mean, it does it does everything it's supposed to do. I, I don't have any issues with the size. The cut of the bristles is really nice. They're just a little bit scratchy. The next one is the 781. This is a nice sort of like shorter a crease brush. I like this one for packing on in the outer V. Does the job. I've also used this to kind of smudge under the lower lashes. So I like it. Again, not as soft as I was expecting. Um, none of these are as soft as I'd like, uh, but definitely gets the job done. It's perfect for highlighting in the inner corner with some color, adding a pop of color, buffing out your under eye um, colors if you use them. Heck, you can probably use this to set your under eye concealer because it's small and you can buff it out. You can do more precise contouring with this, contour under the lip, size of the nose. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Um, this is, I, I feel like it's a good brush. I think that you can get something similar from another company that's softer. Next is the 785. This is a crease brush. I got this one because I wanted something that was um, tapered with a little bit of a point, but also a bit longer. I feel like that sort of adds a sort of softer, buffed out appearance for the crease, like this brush right here, this is the Morphe E27, uh, very soft and very wispy, different than using a crease brush that's shorter and more compact that picks up a lot more product. I wanted this for buffing on, like let's say Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, on into my crease before doing any other crease work. I feel like this is the reason why I got it. Again, does the job really well, but it's not as soft as I would like. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I could use some conditioner. I don't know what I could do to soften this a bit, but yeah, not really, not really digging it. Okay, so the Delium Tool 766, this is an angled brush. I don't have many of these angled eyeshadow brushes in my collection. I like it because these fit right in the groove of my crease. I can use it on the side and apply color to the inner part of my eye, which I do all the time. Highlight the inner corner of the eye with um, like a light illuminating color. I think it's a really good size. I think it's perfect. It's nicely cut. It's got a nice sort of taper to it. I do like this one and I think this one is the softest out of all of them. I would say that this is something kind of unique. Like I said, I don't have, I think I have maybe one from Makeup Geek, but it's a little bit scratchy and I don't like that one too much, but I prefer this one. This is the 766. And then last but not least is the number 760. It's a really, really tiny brush. What I love about this, this is probably my most favorite one out of the bunch that I got. This is the most perfect liner brush to use with uh, gel liners, cream liners. It gets so precise. If you are wanting to do a really thin line really close to the base of your lashes, this is the brush for you. You can definitely do a really thick wing liner. You can definitely do a very dramatic, exaggerated cat eye with this. It'll take some building because it's rather small, but it's mostly perfect, perfect, perfect for really close to the lashes. I've also used this to, to tight line with the same gel liner. I absolutely love this brush. It's great for you know applying color really close to the root of the lash without getting it on the waterline. If you prefer to use darker colors basically underneath the lashes and not on the waterline, this is the most perfect brush for that. I love it. I highly recommend this one because it's such a detailed brush that you really get a really nice, crisp, precise wing liner or just even a liner that follows the natural shape of your eye. It's a really, really great brush, and I love it. It's the number 760. So that is all the brushes that I have. Sadly, I only really use like the 990 and the 760. I would say these are the two that I would prefer and I would recommend. Again, just get if you want this angled one, get the travel size because this thing is huge. Look, look, look at that. That thing is massive. Like, I don't think I can see myself traveling with this one because it's so big. Um, I do like the little um, angled liner brush, the 760, I think that one's great. And the 766, I think it's a nice angled eyeshadow brush. Not a must have, but if you don't have one like this and you're looking for one, this is a good one to try. These other ones are just okay. I will continue to use them in tutorials if you, as you've seen before. And I think I might have used, I think I may have used one of these in today's tutorial, I'm not sure. but. You will see these again. Um, they're not like, oh my god, these are just terrible, stay away, blah. No, it's not like that. Um, it's good. They're just not as soft as I really prefer. I mean, if I think about stuff in my collection that is really soft, like Real Techniques, all the brushes that I have from them are really, really soft. Um, I love the Zoeva eyeshadow brushes. The ones, um, I have the, the pink handle set, the pink elements. I will link it down below. A little bit more expensive. And yes, it's not a US brand. It comes from Germany, but... I'm like completely in love with those brushes and I can't say anything bad about them. I'd rather spend a little bit more money 
and be completely happy and in love with them, then go a little bit cheaper and be like, meh, you know, it's okay. Reach for them every once in a while or having to, you know, at some point maybe give them away years down the road when I'm sick of looking at them. You know, so I don't think that these brushes, as far as the ones that I have tried, maybe there's brushes that they make that are just absolutely holy grail. If you have any recommendations from Delium Tools, put them in the description, or not description, the comment section so that other people can maybe see what others like and if you're interested. They do have brush sets which I think are adequately priced, so if you need brushes, you know, you might want to check them out. But I hope that this review was helpful. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Don't forget to expand the description box and I have everything always listed down below. Sometimes I do forget to put things, but when I remember I come back and add them. <laughs> um, but everything will be listed down below for you. The brushes that I mentioned, the links, and yeah, that's really it. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. I just adore my subscribers, you guys are freaking amazing. You guys just make my day every day. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.